Recorded live with little or no editing, it's Defense Up. Yes, I'm still in the She-Hulk costume. We record these two at a time, so get over it. Here we go. This is 01000001 dot dot dots defense. There's more to his binary code, which says his real name, and I'm not supposed to give out his real name, but that's the binary code that he uses. Um, it says Defense Up, and we grade on five different criteria. It's who you're using, their placement, their power levels, their ISOs, and what kind of mood I'm in. Uh, I actually need to pee and I got to get out of this bodysuit. So we're going to try and get through this as fast as we can. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, so team number one is a junk filler team. It's a kind of a Hydra, whatever he's got left. I, I think that uh, we're going to call him zero one. I think the zero one is trying to build a Hydra defense um, without actually building them up. It's something you can do. Basically, you put the absolute minimum investment in and Red Skull gets 100% damage reduction because of uh, Hydra members being in here. Um, at, excuse me. At this power level investment, I would recommend um, one, building up the minions to something like 20K um, or even 50K if you can afford it. Like, you know, going gear tier 12, 6664, on, on members of your roster is a great stopping point. That would be a great stopping point for this team. Get rid of these two guys and get anybody with a Hydra tag would be better than these. If you happen to have Crossbones built up, it's better than, than who you've got in here. If you happen to have Winter Soldier built up, it's better than who you've got in here because they have the Hydra tag and they give Red Skull a, uh, a damage reduction. Now, one trick you can do if you want to save the resources, don't invest in Red Skull. Just have him there and then have four members with, who are built up. They got to go through those four members or strip the charges or put defense down on him, which is hard to do unless you're power armor. So for me, I think you need to put some investment in. Otherwise, this is actually just a fill it and forget it team. It doesn't even matter that you're putting like 50% damage reduction on this dude at 1000 power level doesn't matter. So get somebody with a Hydra tag in here and you're going to get better results with this team. Best yet. Power up your people with the Hydra tag to about 50k. Don't even bother touching Red Skull if you want to save the resources. For me, this is, I mean, you're not wasting anything here, but you could easily do so much better by getting somebody with Hydra tags in here. So for me, this is a B minus. Um, two, another Hyd uh, filler team right here is, is the Kree with Ronin. Um, you probably built up Ronin as much as you're ever going to build him up. So you're using him while you try to build these other guys up to unlock Fury. Um, I'm not sure. Does Fury unlock at four stars or five? I don't remember. Uh, I know he's a he's a ever unlock thing. Um, get these guys built up just enough to unlock Fury, and then forget about it, right? Just just get through the unlocks, and that's it. That's all you ever want to do with the Cree minions because they suck. Even even though they've been reworked once, they they are really really terrible now. This is just a fill it uh, and forget it kind of team. Um, Let's go Striker here, Skirmisher here. That way when she calls the assist from Reaper, Reaper lays up a vulnerable and she comes back into it. I think that's how it works. I'm not sure. Somebody will correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Healer on him is fine. Fortifier on him is fine. And then Healer over here, that's fine. You could also do Skirmisher on him. He clears with one of like his basic or something. He's doing some stuff. I don't know. Who cares? It's a fill it and forget it team. Um, a for this. You're not over investing in it. Good job. Here's a Pimtech team. Again, you're not over-investing. You have Ultron in here um, trying to get some of that villain tech synergy, although you are not having, you don't have Yellow Jacket in here. Like, replace her with Yellow Jacket. You're going to have better synergy with Ultron. It's something to do. Striker here, Skirmisher here. When you put in Yellow Jacket, he's going to be a Skirmisher. Raider on Wasp is good. Uh, this this whole this Pimtech team is actually a really good defensive team because it's what i consider a troll defense you usually have ghosts built way up the rest of them are pretty underdeveloped it requires people to come into it with a substantial counter and sometimes they underestimate ghost and can't kill her or whatever the power level would be very misleading but right now you have everybody really underdeveloped it's not a big deal um get some power in the right places your isos on these people are correct i think you should probably be swapping in yellow jacket in here and using ultron on a different team or make it a villain tech defense with Ultron, uh, Ghost, Yellow Jacket, maybe throw in, I don't know, Vulture or Shocker or any villain tech member. You know, Doc Ock is villain tech and he goes in there pretty well. Uh, he only has the one summon, so it doesn't really clog up the space for Ultron. Something to do. These are just some ideas. For me, this doesn't really excite me. I think it's a B. I think you got to get some of these power levels built up before this matters. Otherwise, it's just a junk filler team. And I think that at least these two here on the end could be used better. Uh, if you go with a straight Pimtech team, your placement is going to be 
um, dad and daughter to the outside, so that's Strife, and then Yellow Jack, or I'm sorry, Strife, then Wasp, then Yellow Jacket, then Ghost, and then Ant-Man to the other outside. Yeah, all right, moving on. Team number four is a Mercs team. Hey, check this out. Look at this, guys. This is an amazing Merc team. Look at that. Great placement. The ISOs are right. This is a fantastic build on a new and small Merc team. It's great. You know, I really want to give this a high grade, except it's not war ready, so it gets a B. Okay, moving on. Team number five is... What is this? Um... I don't know, this is a junk filler team here too. Uh, nothing exciting here, you've got Hella in here, so anybody with like a baby as, like a like a baby speed meta team is gonna roll over. You don't even need that, somebody's just gonna come into this with like, I don't know, like a hero brawler at 250 and blow this team up. This is another junk filler team. I think what's happening is that 01 has um, a small roster and they are simply trying to fill in some defensive places, uh, is the feeling I'm starting to get from this. If that's the case, 01, I think that you should consider looking over your offensive teams, making sure that you have at least 10 decent offensive teams. And you might consider coming back and putting in some of those wonky defenses where you have like three or four shield guards and then one or two uh, built up characters either in the center or on opposite sides. Because like this is just who cares? This is just junk. It doesn't matter what you invest in it. I'm glad that you didn't overinvest in the ISOs because there's there's very little synergy going on here at all, you know. And if this team were bigger, it would be even worse because you've got Hella in here and she gets rolled over because of Greg. So um, for me, because you haven't overinvested in anybody. Uh, I'm gonna give you a B minus for this, but this is just ugly trash in here And I think maybe you should just pull a lot of it and see if you can't come back with a better defense um, I, I'm curious how close you are to unlocking a black order and bringing them up to like 250 350k and using them on offense at your level that that could be effective Team six is the OG sinister six with scream in there for some reason um, Scream and swarm that's weird. Uh, see if you can swap this out with Vulture or anybody, any other member of the Sinister Six would be better synergy. Don't put Doc Ock in on this team. I think the OG Sinister Six is a better filler junk team. I like Striker on Mysterio better than Skirmisher because uh, his basic. Uh, Raider is great, Skirmisher's good too. Um, Healer is okay, I like Raider better. Striker's fine, you could also do Raider here. And Striker or Raider or Skirmisher works on Scream. Just kind of depends on how you use that team, whether it's offense or defense or whatever, but obviously you're not building up your symbiotes, you're going for the Web Warrior build, and that's cool. Yeah, I think replace this one character, I could uh, give you a B. If you get those ISOs adjusted, then I could give you the A for that. Uh, I don't know, Scream, I, I, I guess you just have her unlocked, and you don't have the rest of the symbiotes unlocked. So you're filling her in, but I, I think you're going to have better luck with a more synergized team. Uh, okay, I, I mean, as is, this is just a C, it's pretty meh. Again, it's it's very underdeveloped. You're not wasting resources. Otherwise, I'd grade you more harshly for this. Uh, team number seven is a hero brawler quasi build. The problem is, is that you've got Raider on Scarlet Spider. Now, Raider is a very good choice for Scarlet Spider. It's a very, very commonly picked choice as Raider for the team in raids and for war defense. I'm starting to like this the Web Warriors better for war defense um, because of some ISO changes that I made. I'm not even going to mention those. Just go Raider. Um, I use something different, but I'm not even going to mention it yet because it's still in testing, but Raider's the way to go there. Although, when you're using the Hero Brawler build, it should be Striker, so maybe go Striker level 1. Like, all these people are underdeveloped. Also, get a, a Brawler in here instead of a Blaster. He's not getting much synergy off of Miss Marvel. Make sure you got the T4 in Miss Marvel so that she's counterattacking on all of those. You'll get a little bit better value, but the Hero Brawler team isn't worth investing in. Let's see when Miss Marvel's movie comes out or TV show or whatever it is comes out and see if we get a rework to her. Then you can really start investing in her if she gets reworked. Black Panther is pretty terrible. Hopefully he gets reworked with the Wakanda movie coming out or something happens to him. I don't know. Um, you're, you're investing in the right spots on this team and you're investing in the right way. So, you know, get the rest of those Web Warriors up and going and the Web Warrior defense is going to be far, far superior to the Hero Brawler defense. Uh, again, I'm just going to give you like a C for this. You're not using this team the right way with the right ISOs, and it is kind of a junk filler team, but you're not over investing, so it doesn't get too bad. Moving on to team number eight is uh, it's Astonishing X Men without Jubilee. Okay, he's a total waste on this team with this power level. Like, 
If he was equivalent power level, this is something you could do to help keep the team alive. Jubilee is the thing that makes this team really work, and it's a junk filler team without Jubilee. You're getting some damage off a of Bishop, um, but yeah, Blob's keeping him alive a little bit, but he's gonna get wiped out on somebody's first turn, you know? So power up Blob, he is actually a useful character in a lot of different places, not just the Brotherhood 2.0. Uh, let's see, Skirmisher Healer, Skirmisher Striker, uh, that's acceptable. I think you should change Beast to a Skirmisher and make Jubilee a Skirmisher when you get her in on this team and then use the team on offense. Um, so I'm going to give you a B for this team, mostly because Blob is underdeveloped. I think you should put some matching power into Blob and then it'll help hold this team up until you get Jubilee unlocked. Team 9 is the Wave 1 Avengers. Perfect. It's absolutely perfect. You get an A for that. Good job. You could build this team up a little bit more, bring them up to like 450 at the most. That's probably a good stopping point for this team. Um, mostly just get the stars on them and make them war ready uh, would be the thing to do. Otherwise, you could leave them as is. Don't even make them war ready as you are building your roster because you're a newer player. This is not a great investment for your ISOs. You should be focusing on those offensive teams, making sure they are war ready first. That's why I'm not giving you like an A minus or something for them not being war ready because at your level, those ISOs need to go someplace else first. Uh, but yeah, once you get your 10 attack teams, you come back. This is like a primary look to touch this one up if you want to make a defense better. Team number 10 is your Eternals with Who Cares. You're going for a full speed meta team. Full speed meta. And look at this, guys. Look at this chat. He did not in over invest at all. He understands that these guys are just there for their speed. That's it. They just need to load in. I would like to see your Eternals on opposite ends of the field, though. I would like to see them not adjacent to each other um, because these guys are going to die right away and you'll have the gap in between them for anybody that chains or does adjacent attacks or something. So split them up. I'm going to give you an A minus for that. Uh, just the placement change and I can give you a full A for that team. Uh, good work there. Okay, that was O1's defense. If you want to have your defense featured on defense something, contact me. Links in the description, the description. And don't worry, I won't be doing cosplay every time. Um, uh, remember, don't just have a good game, be good to yourselves and others too, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.